Hey y'all, it's Sarah. Um, just thought I would come to you today and show you what a Holter monitor looks like in case anybody else has to do one and uh, you didn't know what it was. So basically, you ha I'm, I, by the way, I just have my bra on, so FYI, don't freak out. Um, so basically, you're going to have these little doohickeys here um, on both sides and then under both breasts. And if you're a guy, obviously that'd be under your pecs. And then it is connected to this little doohickey. Don't mind the paint on the wall. That's, that's the color we're painting the bedroom, by the way. Um, it's hooked to this little doohickey thing right here. And if you see it flashing, it just tells me the time and then it says press um, the button, the middle button, to record, uh, to mark symptoms. So if you have any symptoms like um, if your heart starts racing or you have chest pain or whatever, then you press that so it marks it on the record. I can't get this back on my bra. Um, so it can mark on the recording where that symptom happened so that they, when they go back and look at it, they can, um, you know, analyze that particular spot. So just wanted to show that for y'all. Um, the little thingies, by the way, um, it's sticking pretty good um this one she put it kind of low and it's like in between my boob crease um so you do have to worry about that as far as sleeping because i do have to wear this for 24 hours um so you will have to sleep with it and um but thankfully the little box is small so it won't be won't be too bad um I was going to tell you is uh, for application. Um, the only thing that they do is the alcohol swab the area and then they use an abrasive pad to kind of rough up your skin a little bit and then they apply the thingies. Well, my skin is very sensitive and if your skin is kind of sensitive as well, um, after that happens, you might feel some burning and stinging and um, itchiness that's fine don't necessarily think that it is the actual um sticky from the um from the pads um, it could be if you and you may get a circular rash but it could also be from that abrasive um pad that they use as well um then that that's what's causing that kind of symptoms i don't know like something on my chest um, so just FYI on that, you may notice that as well. Um, but it's okay. Uh, you're, you're not having an allergic reaction to it. Uh, it's just the, the way that your skin kind of reacts with it. Um, they might also apply some tape to the area as well to get it to stay and stick. So, um, I'm going to have to actually go get some of my tape here in a minute and stick this one down because it is peeling up and I keep fiddling with it so I know that's giving artifact on the uh, on the thing <laughs> whoops <laughs> but oh well it'll, it'll be alright she just put it way too low um, but I will come back at y'all tomorrow after the appointment and tell you all that what he said um, I have a I have a vague, I have a feeling that he's not going to look at it tomorrow. I don't know. I mean, because 24 hours is a long time to. I don't know what it. I, hopefully, it shows up a preliminary or something. I, I don't know. Anyway, but what else? What else? But hopefully, he does look at it tomorrow and gives me the clearance tomorrow because. Um, 
we've already submitted to insurance for the pre-authorization. So, <laughs> um, I'm just waiting on that approval back and then his clearance and then we will be good to go. That's all I'm waiting for. So, I would like that to go ahead and, and get started because we've been waiting on him and he's laying us. And, uh... And then, you know, I go back to see the surgeon and I can then can start my two week diet. So we're looking at like maybe two or three weeks here, guys. It is, it is getting good. It's getting closer, but, uh, I'll come back at y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Y'all, -bye. it's Sarah, um, coming back at you today with the rest of my cardiac clearance and sorry for the glare here. It's late afternoon or evening. Um, <clears throat> so, also, excuse me, I'm driving too. Um, so, went to the, um, cardiologist again today and so, I did the Holter monitor, uh, Holt monitor, the Holter monitor yesterday. Um, well, I got it yesterday, and then I did it for 24 hours. So, I got it taken off a few hours ago. And, uh, he, that was the last thing, you know, he said he wanted to do just to make sure where he would classify me on the risk spectrum or whatever. Um, so, we do the thing and, um, he looks at it and everything and he's like, I'm really surprised that I didn't see anything alarming. What are you surprised for? What do you, you think just because I'm fat? Like, I'm, a, I'm on the verge of having a heart attack? What? So, anyway, he, he's all like, yeah, I'm, I, I'm surprised. I didn't see anything that really stood out as far as, you know, anything that would cause you harm in this surgery or what have you and I was like that's great I was like good so he's like collectively all of your you know tests and everything have been you know really good or well not really good but like nothing's alarming abnormal but nothing's alarming so I was like awesome that's wonderful news um, so he said he was going to, um, tell my doctor that I'm low risk as far as, um, having the surgery. So, uh, no, you know, low risk as far as anything occurring during surgery, heart wise. I'm like, that is fantastic. I mean, hellfire. You didn't have tests. <laughs> Most doctors can get that with one EKG, but no, not you. I needed four EKGs, one echo, and a 24-hour Holter monitor. Whatevs, dude, whatevs. So, anyway, I'm happy. He's clearing me. Uh, like I said yesterday, um, they submitted to insurance last week. I'm still waiting back to hear on that. Um, so yeah, it's it's a it's a good day, you know. I'm just uh, basically right now. I'm just waiting to um, hear for the insurance what they're gonna say, and then. Um, And then I pre I schedule my pre-op appointment, which is where I do lab work and and jazz, um, I guess. And um, and then he tells me to start my pre-op diet, and we schedule the day like that. That like that's it. So Yahoo for that. So hopefully I'll be hearing back from them within the next week. 
I would hope. I mean, because insurance shouldn't take but about, what, two, two to three weeks to approve. So, I'm just waiting on that. And I will let y'all know. It's getting close, y'all. It's getting close. I'm so excited. Yay. Okay. Anyway, that's all I have for y'all today. Just a quick little update just to tell you that everything went well as far as the cardiologist. And I'm on my way back home from that. And we should be getting this show on the road any time now, which is exciting to me. I'm just like anticipating like the day that I can schedule the surgery and tell y'all what my surgery day is and hopefully it's soon. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that it's this year, but whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, I appreciate y'all and I uh, hope everyone has a wonderful day and a great weekend and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.